Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, like my colleagues before me, I stand in support <clears throat> of the resolution presented by the Honorable Prime Minister. And uh, Mr. Speaker, you would permit me to bring a sustainable development um, perspective to the discourse on, on a particular motion. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, the world is facing what is known in environmental circles as the triple planetary crisis, climate change, pollution, and biodiversity loss. And climate change is really responsible for a lot of the environmental problems that we are facing today. And so when the Prime Minister decided to take to the Parliament, Mr. Speaker, a proposal to amend the VAT schedule as it relates to water tanks and, and, and water management generally, I felt obligated to stand and support the motion. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, St. Lucia has sufficient fresh water um, to cause us to get by on a daily basis. Our children have water in the schools, the hospitals have water, and most St. Lucians, if not all, can depend on the water company, Wasco, to provide them with their daily supply to get by. But Mr. Speaker, that will not always be the case. We've seen the disruption that has been caused by climate change. Rainfall patterns are not as predictable as they used to be. And so we have to be proactive. And it is against that backdrop, the Prime Minister in his wisdom saw the need to provide relief to the average St. Lucian to be in a position where he or she can buy a water tank at a reduced amount. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, there are several hotels on the construction in St. Lucia today. There are housing programs that are being expanded, new communities being formed. And all of those developments would put pressure on Wasco and the supply that we have, we have at the John Compton Dam and other um, reservoir, reservoirs across the country. And so it has become very necessary for us to begin to store water. Whether it is water produced by Wasco or rainwater harvested from our roofs, Mr. Speaker. And so I stand, Mr. Speaker, ready to support this particular motion. There are certain parts of the world as we speak today, Mr. Speaker. Some of the most visited waterfalls, some of the best landmarks in Africa and other parts, Mr. Speaker, are being reduced to rubble as we speak. Absolutely no water, bone dry. And the time is fast approaching when St. Lucia and the rest of the Caribbean may very well find themselves as small island developing states in situations, sim situations similar to what I have described. And so, Mr. Speaker, we have to embark on a public um, education campaign where we have to sensitize our population. We have started at the school level, but we have to go beyond the schools, go into the communities and let the adult population in particular know, Mr. Speaker, that it has become necessary for us to begin to harvest the waters that we have coming from the roofs of our buildings. Mr. Speaker, at the school level, the majority of schools in St. Lucia would have roofing measuring hundreds or if not thousands of square feet. And you have a downpour, Mr. Speaker, and in the space of, of half an hour, you have hundreds of thousands of gallons of water just gushing off the roofs into the drains and just dis disappear into the waterways. We have to, Mr. Speaker, moving forward, to find ways to, to, to harvest that water, have it stored on the school premises, so that that water, if not for consumption, can be used to service the toilets, can be used for the general cleaning and upkeep of the schools, and that goes for other public facilities as well. But this, Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping that with tanks and other accessories becoming more affordable by way of the adjustment of the VAT, more families will see a need to move in that direction. So from a sustainable development ministry standpoint, Mr. Speaker, I will heartedly support the resolution as presented by the Prime Minister. The other parts of the, of the Caribbean where they are already contemplating desalination equipment, where they, they, they harvest the water from the sea, Mr. Speaker, process it, get the salt out, and make that water suitable for domestic use. We are not yet at that stage. Thankfully, we have sufficient water um, forest cover, Mr. Speaker. We have enough natural sources that we have to jealously guard to ensure that we do not find ourselves in a situation where we rush through desalination 
sooner than, than we are required to do. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to say that the Premier Minister has passed or even the Parliament and then a, a proposal that he has tiré vat in the bag of water tank, and the tank glow. Pour une cause plus cette liste pour acheter tank et puis bagaille moun kay bousin pour faire yo servir glo de manière qui plus responsable. Mr. Speaker, quand nous savons, tout kay, toute l'école, tout building public en cette liste qui dépend en les wasco. Ça c'est compagnie glo, gouvernement, pour bayo glo pour pour boire, bayo glo pour ça, laver radio, nettoyer kay et puis bagaille comme ça. Mais nous avons un développement en pays à quoi nous avons parlé, que plusieurs go hôtels qui ont été bâtis. Et ces hôtels, ça, Mr. Speaker, ils ont servi à Chaiglo. Et ils ont tout, quand ils dépendent en l'air wasco pour Bayoglo. Nous, nous avons l'année comme une communauté qui a tapé bâti. Nous avons en anglais, nous avons créé New Settlements. Et tout ce qui est ça, sans Kai, qui a fait, comme plusieurs Kai, c'est Kai ça, Kai Bouzin Glo, Hord Wasco, que les gens ont bien, les gens ont lavé les choses sales, et puis les gens ont fait un flair de Glo et puis les gens Et nous avons dit, Mr. Speaker, Gloire nous n'y a pas toujours ni assez, parce que nous nous vivre dans le temps où l'année va créer climate change. Et l'année l'est en l'année à quoi ou qu'à ou qu'à expect un chai la pluie et que jour qu'à joindre la pluie c'est soleil ou qu'à joindre. Et l'année l'est quoi qui gagne soleil qu'on a dans des autres. Very recently in the Sahara Desert and and some of the other um, deserted um, parts of the world, they are experiencing rainfall like they've never done before. So there has been some disruption to the climate and we can no longer predict rainfall and it is very possible that the time is not far away when St. Lucia will go for extended periods, much more than what we've experienced in the past without rainfall. And it becomes even more critical and necessary now to have the infrastructure at least at the level of the home to cause people to save water um, so that there'll be less of a disruption in terms of their daily chores and how they go about living their lives. And so, Mr. Speaker, with this very brief intervention, I support the resolution as presented by the Honorable Prime Minister.